It's known by everybody that making a movie or a series takes a great amount of effort and management on the set. One thing we all acknowledge is that the crew members on the set really work hard to make that particular project successful. However, some actors fail to offer the proper credit to the crew members. Instead, they are harsh and rude to them. In today's video, we'll talk about the actors who have reportedly misbehaved and been rude towards them. If you're interested, keep on watching. But before you move on with the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let's get the video started. Number 10. Will Smith Will Smith has reportedly been rude to his co-worker Janet. You may all recognize Janet Hubert from the show Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, where she played Aunt Viv, who mysteriously vanished from the show at the end of season 3 in 1993. In an interview with an Atlantic radio station in 1993, Will Smith publicly attacked Janet and said, I can say straight up that Janet Hubert wanted the show to be the Aunt Viv of Bel-Air show because I know she is going to dog me in the press. She has basically gone from a quarter of a million dollars a year to nothing. She's mad now, but she's been mad all along. She said once, I've been in the business for 10 years and this naughty nose punk comes along and gets a show? No matter what, to her, I'm just the Antichrist. But as their public dispute unfolded, Janet attacked the show and aired her dislike for Will Smith in interviews. According to TMZ, she even made a vow to never take part in a reunion episode, saying, there will never be a reunion, as I will never do anything with an a-hole like Will Smith. He is still an egomaniac and has not grown up. This constant reunion thing will never happen in my lifetime unless there's an apology, which he doesn't know the word for. Number 9. Tom Cruise Tom Cruise has reportedly broken social distance rules on the set of his movie, Mission Impossible 7, as evidenced by recordings of him yelling obscenities at cast members. The Sun released an audio recording of Cruz yelling and cursing at the film crew for the project. He was one of the producers and threatened to fire anyone found to be breaking the distance rules immediately. On the recording, Cruz can be heard shouting, I don't ever want to see it again, ever. And if you don't do it, you're fired. And if I see you do it again, you're gone. And if anyone in this crew does it, that's it. And you too, and you too, don't ever do it again. That's it. No apologies. You can tell it to the people that are losing their homes because our industry is shut down. It's not going to put food on their table or pay for their college education. Crews appeared to be responding after team workers at Leaveston Studios in the UK were observed standing too near to one another by a computer screen. Although Cruz's point may be valid, this sort of behavior with workers is intolerable. Number 8. Megan Fox Megan Fox, the star of the 2009 picture Transformers, was called dumb, unkind, harsh, and an intolerable performer by members of the multi-million dollar film franchise. As soon as the actor came out to diss the director Michael Bay by claiming that he objectified her on the set, furious crew members who would have stayed silent posted a long open letter to Megan on the director's official website and signed it as the loyal Transformers crew. They attacked Megan comparing her to a second-rate Angelina Jolie, whose diva-like behaviors makes everyone on the set dislike her. Megan was ultimately fired from the shoot for her unruly behavior and was labeled a grump by the crew of the set, who also described her as the most rude person they had ever met. Number 7. Leah Michelle. Leah Michelle seemed to have zero regard for her actors and crew on the set of Glee, since she was such a total diva. Imaya Fleur Edwards, an extra on Glee in 2012, claimed to a magazine that Michelle burped in her face while filming on set. She first shared the story on Instagram, calling Michelle very bold and rude. The actor, who came under fire for her racial remarks after Samantha Ware, a former co-star, called her out on Twitter. Imaya then came forward to say that she had heard from numerous sources that Leah had referred to extras as cockroaches while they were being filmed. Even though Leah continued to mistreat several of her co-stars and the crew, they expressed how uncomfortable it was to work with her and how it made them seriously consider leaving the film industry. Number 6. Christian Bale Christian Bale was captured on camera having a breakdown while filming the 2009 sequel, Terminator Salvation, just a few months after the movie's release. The actor was surprised to learn that he had been unmasked by an anonymous person on the set, 
And when the audio tape eventually surfaced, it was obvious that it had been done without his consent. Christian was audibly yelling at the movie cinematographer, Shane Hurlbut, who had entered the scene to check a light while it was being filmed. Shane had supposedly done it twice, which infuriated Bale. He smacked Shane with a few F-bombs and threatened to destroy his lighting equipment if he did it again. What's worse is that Christian even made the threat to leave the project if Shane committed this offense again without being disciplined. Shane was generally sorry on his end, but once more he couldn't get into a screaming match with the movie star without getting fired. Although the two haven't collaborated on the same project since, Christian eventually apologized for it in public. Number 5. Mike Myers It seems that the Austin Powers actor has a reputation for being challenging to work with. Amy Hill, a fellow actor, described working with Myers on The Cat in the Hat as a horrible, nightmarish experience and commented on his aloof manner on set in an interview with AV Club. I don't believe he made any new friends. He would simply remain with his group before leaving. He would stand there when others arrived, she claimed. There was a guy who kept his candies in a tiny Tupperware container. He came running over and gave him a chocolate whenever he wanted one. I suppose that's how divas are, or those in need of therapy. Number 4. Terry Hatcher When it came to Desperate Housewives, Hatcher reportedly had disagreements with her co-stars Eva Longoria, Felicity Huffman, Marsha Cross, and Nicolette Sheridan. Additionally, Hatcher's desire to be in the center of a 2005 Vanity Fair photo shoot with the ensemble led to conflict on the set, with Sheridan even referring to Hatcher as the meanest woman in the world. Additionally, once the show ended in 2012, the performers reportedly purchased farewell presents for the cast and crew, but omitted Hatcher's name from the presents. Number 3. Thomas Gibson After an altercation with the creative direction of the show, Gibson kicked a writer in the shin, which led to his suspension and eventual firing from Criminal Minds. Gibson was reportedly required to take anger management classes after shoving an assistant director in 2010, according to Deadline and TMZ. Number 2. Chevy Chase The comic was one of the first SNL cast members. Although he was renowned for being difficult to work with, the founder and producer of Saturday Night Live, Lorne Michaels, allegedly barred Chase from hosting the program after he was accused of acting abusively towards cast members including one instance in which he slapped Sherry O'Terry in the back of the head. Pete Davidson from Saturday Night Live slammed Chase in 2018 on Howard Stern's program. He's a total D-head. Chevy Chase, F you. I detest that person, he said. I don't like him because he's actually a terrible, racist person. Additionally, Chevy allegedly used a racial slur while clashing with showrunner Dan Harmon during the fourth season of Community, filming in 2012, which caused the program to halt production. And former Community co-star Donald Glover revealed in a 2018 interview with The New Yorker that Chase had attempted to sabotage his parts by cracking racial jokes between takes to throw him off. Number 1. Julia Roberts Steven Spielberg worked with Roberts, who played Tinkerbell in his 1991 Peter Pan adaption, Hook, and claimed she was hard to work with. Roberts was going through a separation with her fiancé Kiefer Sutherland at the time of production, which is said to have affected her conduct on set and earned her the nickname Tinker Hell among the cast. It was an unfortunate time for us to work together, Spielberg said to 60 Minutes when asked about working with Roberts on the film. However, Julia is a really, really wonderful actress in my opinion. Every profession deserves respect, and so do crew members. Therefore, any kind of rude behavior displayed by the actors is just not acceptable. Well, that's all we've got for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video.